Welcome to Between the Lines. For podcasts about what you like to read. Today on our podcast, we will be interviewing Miss Hardy. So, Miss Hardy, how are you feeling today? Really good, thank you. That's good. So, on this podcast, we're going to be asking you about your favourite books, favourite genres, and just any recommendation you'd have for the people who are listening to this podcast today. What are your top three favourite books? So, I read all the time, constantly. And I read such a variety of books. So when I was asked what I was going to say, I had to sit there with a big, long list and really go through it. So I'm currently reading a series of books called The Monogram Murders. They're like a modern adaptation of Agatha Christie. I don't know if you know much about Agatha Christie. I don't think you've known about her. No, she's quite old-fashioned. You wouldn't learn about her. She's more of a, like a detective series. So this woman has been commissioned to sort of retell her stories, and they're quite interesting. Like who done it sort of stuff. They're one of my favourite. I really like The Great Gatsby. I don't suppose you've heard of The Great Gatsby. No. I've heard of it. Yeah, it's really short, it's really quick and easy to read, but it's about just a man who loves to have parties to try and get the attention of the woman that he loves. Mm. Quite dramatic. That's interesting. Yeah. Yeah. And then my other favourite, my final final favourite, is a little bit of a spin on a Shakespeare story. It's not too boring. But it's more of a fiction-based piece about uh, Hamlet, one of Shakespeare's plays. Mm. But it's called Hamnut, with an M. Oh. And it's all about Shakespeare writing in London. But I really, really liked that. A bit historical, but a bit of a twist as well. Um, so, Miss Hardy, what's your favourite genre? I do not have a favourite genre. Mm. I really struggle with dystopian novels and fantasy. Mm. So, you know, like The Hunger Games... <laughs> Harry Potter. <laughs> Not a big Harry Potter fan. I can't do it. I don't think my imagination goes I'm there. Leaving. You're leaving. <laughs> I just don't think my brain can do it. I think there's because there's so many as well, and they create yeah. so many other worlds. Yeah. I just sort of go, oh, where am I? And I get a bit confused. Yeah. I get overwhelmed. Yeah. So, what recommendation would you have for anyone that's like that you're teaching, like in your books? I would recommend a ton of books, honestly, so, so many. And what I would say is I really like John Green for, like, young adults, for both boys and girls. Got a lot of him in the library. He's got loads and loads of books all about, like, growing up and, like, finding out who you are. Some of them a bit detective-y, some of them a bit about just learning who you are, like, your identity and learning about friendships and stuff like that. And they can be a little bit dark and a little bit twisty. Some of them are really, really good. But my main recommendation would be just read whatever, see what works for you. Dip in and out of stories. If you don't like something, throw it away. Give it to someone else. Just pass it on. Just because there's no shame in admitting you don't like a book. Yeah. Well, you have been listening to Between the Lines. Our guest was... Miss Hardy. The engineers are Ethan and Makaya. Your presentators are... Grace and Jehu. Our producer is Miss Wallace. Thank you for listening.